Unilag post UTME 2014, use of English, question 41. And the instruction is, from options A to D, choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. The sentence is, surprisingly, Musa turned dash the job offer. Option A, away. Option B, in. Option C, out. Option D, down. The correct answer to this question is option D, turn down the job offer. Musa didn't turn away the job offer. If Musa was looking, then a way would have been the appropriate answer. Musa looked away from the job offer. Musa turned in the job offer. If Musa had actually taken the job and then was doing an activity and reporting it, then it could probably be Musa turned in his work after he got the job. And Musa turned out the job is just completely out of place. So Musa turned down the job offer. Option D is the correct answer. Now, this is a question that actually needs you to understand your parts of speech. And then also um, a good practice with lexics and structure. And to answer these questions correctly, you need to know the appropriate conjunctions or prepositions to use sometimes adjectives to use in order to answer the questions correctly. So you need a good understanding of grammar in general and particularly parts of speech and then a good practice with lexis and structures. Unilag post UTM in 2014, use of English, question 42. Instruction is from options A to D. Choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. And the sentence is, we have no choice, dash, to do what they demand. Option A, except. Option B, than. Option C, unless. Option D, but. But is the appropriate conjunction to use here. So we have no choice but to do what they demand. You will argue that it could also be, we have no choice except to do what they demand. So except would be in a case where you have other options and then you now have an exception. So in this case, you have no other options, and so, but is a appropriate conjunction to use. We have no choice than to do what the demand is inappropriate. We have no choice unless to do what the demand, unless could pass, but not when used with to, unless so. So it could have made sense to say, we have no choice unless, we had something else in place in order to meet their demand. That's a case where unless could have worked. For instance, we have no choice unless we had someone a lot more superior to help us meet their demand. Then that's a case where unless would have passed. But in this case, we have option D, but to be a correct answer. Unilag post UTME 2014, use of English, question 43. The instruction is, from options A to D, choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. And the sentence is, the committee has submitted its report dash the students. Option A, in. Option B, for. Option C, about. Option D, on. The correct answer to this question is option D, on. On is the correct preposition to use in this context as it usually precedes nouns or pronouns and expresses the relationship between the elements in the statement. Unilag post UTME 2014, use of English, question 44. The instruction is, from options A to D, choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. And the sentence is, the chairman told members that he was open dash suggestions. Option A, to. Option B, for. Option C, about. Option D, on. And the correct answer to this is option A, to. So is the correct preposition to use in this context. It shows the subject approaching or reaching a particular decision or condition. Unilag post UTME 2014 use of English. Question 45. From options A to D, choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. The sentence is, the policeman shot the escaping dash leg. 
option A on, option B in, option C at, option D into. The correct answer to this question is option B in. The appropriate preposition to use is in. You get shot in and not on the leg. Since the bullet or whatever projectile is used becomes enclosed in your body parts after being shot. And so you actually hit on a target. The bullseye is a target. You hit on it, but you get shot in whatever body parts you are shot in. Beauty Lack for CTME 2014. Use of English. Question 46. From options A to D. Choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. And the sentence is, for the management, your remarks amount to a dash, the phrase. Option A, on. Option B, upon. Option C, at. Option D, in. The correct preposition for this expression is in, option D. And it is actually a famous saying, slap in the face, which means an insult. However, if you were describing an actual event, it would be appropriate to say then he slapped him or he slapped him on the face with an open hand. Note, slapping in the face conveys the meaning of being insulted or disappointed and it is figurative. Unilag was UTME 2014. This of English, question 47. From options A to D, choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. And the sentence is, she does not remember dash to anyone at the park. Option A, to talk. Option B, to be talking. Option C, talking. Option D, to have talked. The correct answer to this question is option C, talking. She does not remember talking to anyone at the park. Unilag for 2014, use of English. Question 48. From options A to D, Choose the word or group of words that best completes the following sentence. And the sentence is, this portion is to be shared between dash. Option A, us and them. Option B, we and them. Option C, us and they. Option D, we and they. The correct answer to this question is option A, us and them. Us and them are both object forms of pronouns and are the most appropriate pair for the sentence.